What's going on, super fans and Patreon members alike? Pinchy Owls Garage here today, and we're going to show you guys how to torque down all your timing components correctly. So let's get to work because this is Pinchy Owls Garage. So to get started off, we need to remember that once we, the previous video on how to install all your timing gear and time it correctly, we didn't torque anything down to specifications. Now that we're at this specific location, now we're going to torque everything down to spec. And the reason why we didn't go about that, number one, all the hardware I had previously wasn't new. I actually all have brand new hardware here. So we uh i pretty much removed one bolt at a time and we put everything back in to get it with all new hardware because we don't want to be doing this job with used hardware never okay and this is what i'm going to put here never use old timing hardware always replace whenever you do a vr6 timing job you need new chains new guides new tensioner everything everything has to be replaced and all the hardware the only things that you can reuse are the gear uh, hardware, the gear bolts, pretty much. These three right here. One, two, three. Those are the only ones you're allowed to reuse. Everything else has to be replaced. All right, so now we got that settled, let's go on to torque specifications. Okay, torque specifications. Number one, this is a question that's been asked a couple times on my uh, YouTube channel. What is torque specs? Well, when a manufacturer assembles an engine, Every piece of hardware has to be tightened down to a very, very specific amount of pressure or tightness or torque. Um, torque is measured by inch pounds, foot pounds, uh, Newton meters. And I think there's like another spec there, but I think it's whatever smaller the Newton meter is. Um, those are all specifications of weight on how tight the hardware has to be tightened down. Now there's one more thing, they have something called plus. So some hardware, when you tighten it down, sometimes they require you to add an extra turn. For example, when you're doing work on a head. A lot of times they'll say, hey, torque it down to 80 foot pounds plus a quarter turn. Meaning in a 360 degree circle, you need to put a quarter turn into it. So in other words, you're gonna be using pretty much a chunk of the pie. If you're looking at it as a circle and you see a pie, and you divide it into fours, one chunk of that, which is a quarter, has to be turned from there to there. Now there's a quarter turn, 90 degree and 180. A quarter turn is like a triangle. A 180 is literally, or um, half a turn, is literally half a circle, and then 180 is a full turn. Um, make sure you have your Bentley manual handy. Um, for this one, on the description, on the link below, I will put my Bentley manuals and that way you guys can download them free of charge. Don't worry about it. It's what I do for the community. And you guys can use that as a reference. It's a phenomenal guide to get you guys doing the work properly. Now that being said, let's torque these guys down. Number one, on a VR6 engine, you want to do the first three. One, two, three. These are set to 75 foot pounds, uh, also known as a 100 Newton meters. Okay? So when you guys got to do this one, on the back end over here, uh, the engine, you wanna, you wanna place a breaker bar. Okay, you'll see this. A 27 millimeter socket breaker bar on pretty much the left side of the motor when you're looking at it this way. And that's what's gonna do, it's gonna hold, keep the crank from turning. We don't want the engine to turn while we're tightening things down. So as you see, just like that, is how you're going to do that. And again, this is all because you're doing it by yourself, okay? And then the next step here, get you guys nice and close, is you guys got to do this guy and this guy and this guy down here. Now there are 15 millimeter socket. We're going to set this to 75 foot pounds on your torque wrench. So 
So on this torque wrench, uh, we're here at foot pounds and we're down to 70 plus five, so 75. So when we grab this, you're gonna go like this. You're gonna hold this tensioner. See this tensioner here, right here? You need to push this and squeeze it as hard as you can by hand. And it's torqued down. And the reason for this, if you do not, this, this right here will jump a tooth because the, this is all loose. And when you jump a tooth, it's gonna, it's gonna skip timing. So remember you have to do that prior to doing this, okay guys? So we're gonna hold these nice and snug. And then same process. Pinch this tight. 75 foot pounds. I already torqued everything down, but I just wanted to show you guys that I'm gonna do it. Again, nice and snug. Done. Okay, so 75, 75, 75. Also 100 Newton meters. Next are the small hardware. So we got this here, 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 and here. So we got two, four, five, six, seven, eight bolts to torque down the spec. I'm gonna use my much smaller torque wrench for this job. This is too big of a job or, or too big of a uh, torque wrench to do these small ones. So make sure, you, make sure you guys have a variety of torque wrenches uh, for these jobs for safety reasons. Now, uh, on the new hardware kit that I got from Eurotuning.com, they gave me new bolts here. And these are set to, uh, what is it, uh, 20 Newton meters? For these two right here. So let me get there. Okay. So we go here. Now this torque wrench has newton meters on it, so I can torque it down. So we're gonna do the conversion from 20. Looks like it's either 10 or 15 pounds. Let me let me confirm that on my converter, but give me a second here. That's torque to spec, and that's torque to spec. So these two are ready. Now I gotta do one, two, three. These three are uh, Allen heads, so, and they're set at 10 Newton meters. So they're not on there very tight. So make sure you guys don't torque the crud out of these things, okay? You don't want to damage them, break them. Then you're in a way worse situation. So those are all five millimeter Allens. Just a heads up. So, Make sure that these go in flush. Don't just like put them in and end up stripping them. There you go, because they're made out of soft metal. That one's good. That's good. And that's good. So 10 Newton meters on these three, same with this Torx down here, and that's a T30 by the way. Okay, so 10 Newton meters, 10 Newton meters, 10, um, 20 on these, 100 mil Newton meters, so 75 foot pounds, and you guys are gonna have to do the math on these guys. I don't, I don't, I didn't do the conversion since my torque wrench does a better job on two newton meters than it is to foot pounds. But I would just double check your guys' conversions on this. Um, and then we got one more bolt, which is this guy right here. This one I'm not gonna be able to torque it down because I torqued it down prior to installing this. I'm not taking this whole thing apart. That's one thing you guys gotta remember when you guys install this one. This one has to be torqued down 
before anything goes on, okay? I'm gonna get you guys a specification for that. Because I have my Bentley manual on my phone. That's number seven. That's number four, sorry. So that's a bearing bolt and that one's 18 Newton meters for this guy right here. All right, and that's it. Everything's timed and set, we're ready to go. Next step here, when the next DIY, we're gonna show you guys how to do the oil pan underneath. Um, actually, no, the oil pump. Uh, and then once the oil pump is done, we're gonna do the upper and lower timing covers next, and then the oil pan. So stay tuned for that DIY. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. As always here at Pitch Alice Garage, we're gonna break, we're gonna fix, and we're gonna repeat. Peace out, and you guys have yourself a wonderful day.